Hi, I'm Margaret, and welcome to another Practice Tip Monday. Today we will take a leaf from the book of a violinist and learn why pianists suffer from the label that we are finger athletes. Being finger athletes means we're going to create a lot of tension because fingers cannot support the job of playing a modern day piano. recruit the larger muscles in our back and shoulders and so I will show you a quick tip how you can use modeling the bow stroke of a violinist those same sort of motions to unlock these larger muscle groups. First step I'd like you to notice how a violinist bow arm is very circular and the elbow moves in space and that controls the flow of energy from your back and shoulder muscles. So if you're finding yourself sitting with your elbows glued to your side, it's going to block the flow of energy. Second thing, this might sound a little bit unusual, but I'd like you to think of the piano not being in this horizontal layout, but to actually imagine that it splays out into a V, okay? Now, what I'd like you to try is to actually set up your hand in that same sort of V shape. So you can create a V with your hands like this, creating a triangle in the middle. Now, if you place your hands like this with the thumbs on metal C, you will notice that the hands create a type of upward slope. And to the left, it creates it this way. All right, so then, things get very different. Your elbows are to your side a few inches away from your body. Now let's see how this translates into a piece of music. We're going to use Opus 740 number one from Cherny's um, Book of Etudes as our starting point and the music is included below if you'd like to try this with me. Okay, so without thinking of this V slant what we usually will wind up doing is playing up and down with the fingers. Okay, now right away what starts to happen is not only does tension start to creep in, but the sound is rather disconnected, it's rather choppy. There's really no sense of liquidy um, connection, which is what we always want. Okay. But now let's try it the other way. If we slant with the thumb a little bit more towards the edge of the key, whereas the fifth finger is rising up, let's try it that way. It's much easier because now you're rolling over the keys. And then when you put it into practice in the etude, way to produce velocity, evenness, and also relax and also have the natural forces, these circular motions, take over rather than the up-down, up-down that sometimes plagues us at the piano. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for joining.